Well, hi boys and girls. We're back again for another story. And uh, are you enjoying the stories at the moment, Alfie? You're enjoying it more than the weather. I know the weather's not very good today. It's pouring down with rain and we can't go out. You've got a question for me. What's the question? Can we go and do the jigsaw puzzle? Well, yeah, we'll do the jigsaw puzzle. I told you, we're going to do the jigsaw puzzle this afternoon. But um, we can't now because we've got things to do, OK? Right. First of all, we've got to have our story. You've got another question for me. OK, what's the question this time? Can we go and do the jigsaw puzzle now? I just told you. No, we're busy. We can't do it now. You've got to wait till later. You thought now was later. Well, yeah, technically it is three seconds later, but it's only a little bit. It, I mean, a lot later, sort of after lunch. No, it's not after lunch yet. Oh, boys and girls, I'm sorry about this. It's just Alfie is we're doing a jigsaw puzzle to sort of find something to do. And Alfie loves doing it, don't you? Yeah, but he doesn't like doing it on his own. You keep getting confused. Yeah, he likes a bit of help. But I've been really busy this morning, so I haven't been able to do it with him. But we will do it after lunch, OK? And it's not after lunch yet. But thank you for asking. Can you ask me another question? No, it's not after... N That's not the question. OK, what's the question? Can we have lunch now? So you can do the jigsaw puzzle. Look, let's do the story first. Then we have lunch. Then we'll do the jigsaw puzzle. Is that OK? Can I get on with it? OK, boys and girls, let's have today's story. Actually, today's story is about a man who isn't named in the Bible. But we're going to call him John because I like giving names to people makes it more friendly that's right well John hadn't been having a very good day he'd been really really busy he'd been doing all sorts of things trying to get everything done and then just as he thought everything was finished who should arrive but his brother and his family they came on an unexpected visit no, there wasn't lockdown there. This has happened a long time ago, before lockdown and things like that. But John's brother and his family all arrived and suddenly John had to make supper for them. It was late at night. They'd been travelling all day. The sun had gone down when they arrived and actually it was probably ten, half past ten at night. That is really late. I know everybody else would have gone to bed. And John thought, what am I going to do? I haven't been shopping today. I've been so busy that I haven't been able to get the shopping in. I've got no food in the house. And here's John and his wife and his three children all wanting something to eat. I can't even give them a, a slice of toast or anything like that. What can I do? He could have gone to Tesco's. Tesco's is open 24 hours, but they didn't have Tesco's in those days. They just had a marketplace, which was only open in the day. There was nothing open and nowhere where John could buy food. So what's he going to do? Do you know? No. Well, what he did, he went out to his front door, walked across the road to his next door neighbour, and he hammered on the door. A voice came from inside. Go away! Please, can you give me some bread? Can you give me some food? My brother's just arrived with his family and I've got nothing to give him. Oh, go away. I'm in bed. I was just dozing off to sleep. And all my family are in bed fast asleep as well. Stop annoying me. Do you think John gave up? No, he didn't. He knocked on the door again. He said, oh, please. I've got no one else I can go to. You're my last hope. Please let me have some food for them. Can't send them to bed hungry. Oh dear, said his next door neighbour. 
but um, um, um oh all right and he got out of bed and he lit a candle because it was very dark they didn't have lights like we have those days and he went to the cupboard and he got some bread and some food some meat some vegetables and put them all in a big bag carried them down to the door opened the door and he pushed them into John's hands as if to say now go away and leave me alone John looked at him and he said thank you so much you're a really good neighbour well the neighbour was still a little bit grumpy he said oh it's all right John said if ever you want me to do the same for you don't hesitate maybe I will one day said the neighbour and closed the door and went back to bed but John he went back to his house he was happy now because he had food he could give to his, his brother and family and he could look after them and send them to bed with full tummies do you know Alfie this story is one that Jesus told and sometimes we don't like to be bothered if we're tired or if we're busy or if we've got other things to do especially when there's jigsaws to be done yes okay but you know when you keep on asking sometimes people do listen to you and Jesus told this story to tell us that sometimes when we pray we think God isn't listening but he is he's not like the neighbor fast asleep he's not like the neighbor doesn't want to be bothered but sometimes he doesn't always answer our prayers the way we want because he's waiting for a better time because he knows what's best for us but Jesus says when we pray to God keep on asking in fact he said keep on pestering God because God is listening to you and you know Alfie it's great to pray sometimes we can have lots of problems and worries and things that bother us we can always tell God about it and God always listens John got what he wanted because he kept on nagging his neighbor but Jesus says God isn't like that God listens anyway and God always answers prayers even though sometimes he will say no to us because it's not the right time just like now isn't the time to make a jigsaw puzzle yet we will make it later but it's good to pray and sometimes your prayers don't have to be long ones sometimes it's only saying thank you to God for what he's given us or God please keep me safe today but God always listens and it's good to talk to God boys and girls thanks for listening today we're going to finish with a short song and uh, hope you enjoy it bye for now see you next week